Hey everyone, my name is Jeff. Welcome to the channel and today we're going to take a look at my 2006 Ford Mustang GT. Before we do that though, I thought since I'm new here to YouTube, I should tell you guys a little bit about myself. Um, so again, my name is Jeff. I live in Utah. I am married with four kids. In addition to cars, I love sports, basketball, baseball, football, golf, MMA. My favorite band is Blink-182 and I have about 25 pairs of Air Jordans. There you go guys, so now that you know a little bit about me, let's take a look at this 2006 Ford Mustang GT Premium. This is a black on black car. We have the uh, GT500 wheels, GT500 spoiler. Tire size in the front is 255-45-18. And in the back, 285-40-18. I bought this car about this time last year. And uh, I'm the second owner, so obviously I bought it from the original owner. And uh, this car has spent its whole life here in Utah. Uh, the original owner bought it uh, here locally from a dealership. And uh, it's always been adult owned and garage kept. As you can see, it's really clean. Um, as we look down the side, there's no dings or dents. Has just over 89,000 miles on the odometer. In the back here, we have the, the custom plate. Ominous, I chose that plate just because the car looks a little ominous. It's black on black Mustang with dark tint. And so that kind of seemed like the appropriate plate to get for it. This car does have an aftermarket exhaust. It's a pipes exhaust system. Here's a little clip of how that sounds. So it sounds pretty good. We have a little crackle going on there. Also here in the back with these tail lights, I installed a uh, sequential tail light kit. Uh, this generation of Mustang did not uh, come with the sequential tail lights like you see on the newer Mustangs. So I bought a kit to convert it to be like the newer Mustangs. So here's a clip of that and how that looks. Trunk area is really clean. It's hardly used, really good shape. The rear bumper had a few scuffs and, and scratches, so I had it repainted recently. So right now it's in perfect shape. Going along the passenger side and towards the front. Paint is in really good shape. Obviously, this is a 13-year-old car, so it does have some wear, a few small scratches and chips here and there, but again, overall, really good condition. Let's take a look in the inside. So we have black leather interior. Door panels look really good, great shape. Seats are in great shape. There's no tears or holes in any of the leather. Same with the back seats, really good shape. Here we are on the driver's side. Again, door panels look really good. No issues. Driver's seat is in really good shape. As you guys can see, this is a five-speed manual transmission. This does have a short throw shifter installed to make your shifts a little bit quicker. The interior is near perfect. The only thing I noticed right after I bought it was this little uh, tear in the carpet on the floor. Um, 
No idea how that caught there. It's kind of a weird spot for a tear like that. But um, there you go. So there's a lesson for you. Anytime you buy a car, look under the floor mats to see if there's anything lurking under there. Steering wheel's in good shape. All the gauges work. One cool feature with the gauges is it has, a, it's called a My Color gauge option and it allows you to customize the color of the display so you can choose from blue green purple orange red it's pretty cool and you can create your own color with all the different um, combinations that there are I go with the blue because I think it looks the best at night all the buttons work everything Seems to be in good working order. No cracks or blemishes or anything in the dash. We have the uh, Shaker 500 stereo system, which sounds really good. Let me pop the hood for you guys so you can take a look at the motor. Under the hood is a 4.6 liter V8. Three valves per cylinder. Some of the mods I've done include an air aid, cold air intake, um, MSD coil packs, JLT oil catch can, SR Performance underdrive pulleys. Um, when I when I got the car, I did a complete tune-up, changed the spark plugs, changed all the filters, ran some seafoam through it. These cars came with 300 horsepower from the factory, and did zero to sixty in about five seconds or just over. I think with the combination of mods I have, this car would dyno at about 300 horsepower at the rear wheels. As you can see, it's a really clean engine and engine bay. Other mods that have been done to this car, um, it has Eibach uh, suspension springs, so it sits about a, an inch and a half lower than stock. The gear ratio for the rear end is 373. I believe it came stock with uh, 355s. The original owner um, had that changed. It's a really nice car, really fun car. I wasn't planning on buying a Mustang when I was looking, at the time I, I bought this, when I was looking for another car. I was actually wanting to buy a c5 corvette but i just couldn't find any that were in good shape and so i was at a dealership looking at a corvette actually and, and next to it was a 2009 mustang gt and so i thought I'd, I'd never driven this generation of mustang so i took it for a test drive and i loved it and thought it was a really great car so um, that kind of made up my mind that since there weren't any good corvettes out there at that time that i would try this out and I've been really happy with it. it drives really strong pretty quick I mean it's not the fastest car in the world obviously but it is fast enough to be fun haven't had any issues with it it's been a great car that's pretty much the full tour on this Mustang as I said earlier right before I bought this car I was looking for Corvettes uh, Corvette is a car I have never owned and would like to as soon as possible so how do you guys think this car compares to let's say a C5 Corvette C5s are a little older they're in not as great a shape but they they have a lot more technology and they're quicker than these Mustangs in my opinion should I sell this and get a Corvette or is this worth keeping I feel like I've done all the mods I could do short of a supercharger or turbocharger, which is a lot of money. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.